BBC pan, pans exposure of its supporters. Nothing like uh, a load of rot, eh? Right. Oh, is that on countdown? Good man. Right. Oh, 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 that's all right. Oh, we're all right. The whiskey's oh, on the feet. That's the main thing. Oh, here we go. Brilliant. Oh, how's that? Right. Well, I think we're on volume.
Dave? Hey! <laughs> da -ba -do, everybody! And a very warm welcome to you all, wherever you may be in the world. It's Friday night, it's 8.30, so it can only mean one thing. It's the 1775 Whiskey Passport coming live to you from the centre of the universe. And of course, tonight we have a special packed audience, and we've got Tatty Peel in some foreign exotic place, and he's hiding away. So, on my left here tonight, we have Scotty Tohote Watson. Evening all. Yes. And then over in the corner there, I don't know if you can see him. Can oh, you I see him? Let's well, see. Pop it there we go. go. We have Pork Chop, the secret weapon. He's, uh, I needed to get somebody that could look as bad as Tatty Peel the night, so I wondered who I could get. <laughs> so I picked two of them. And uh, let's just see if we can get Tatty Peel yet. Can we say hello to him? Tatty Peel, come in live. Oh, we oh, can't hear you. I'm here. I see oh, you. Oh, you. Nanu, nanu. <laughs> That's <laughs> great. That's great. Well, thank you, Tatty Peel. Where are you anyway? Oh, I'm in Penrith. Penrith. Okay, nice. That's over the border in Englandshire. Ah, we know a few people from the borders, don't we? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, anyway, thanks, Tatty Peel, for dialing in and saying hello. We have a fun pack to show tonight, so please bear with us in case it goes kind of south. <laughs> and, uh, you know, anyway, at least we'll have a bit of fun. And, uh, of course, not forgetting tonight, we've got T-Boney behind the camera bringing oh, I'm this... Here, but I can't come in yet. Oh, he can't <laughs> come in yet, but... <laughs> He's technical issues. But, uh, anyway, so thank you. Before I go and hand over to the boys to say something for a couple of minutes, uh, just to let you know that uh, we have a big bumper night ahead. We've got some cracking whiskies. But then on the 27th of uh, this month, we're having a special wee tasting up here. We've got a few people coming up from down south, coming up from uh, Waiai, man. Can you bag a Tudor? So, uh, we've got... Cornwall. Yeah, I know quite <laughs> far from Cornwall, but we've got... ...up to join us for a few... Hopefully, maybe a few more can come along and see us. I'm going to have a wee look here, Scotty Totty. Why don't you tell everybody what your whiskey experience is? My whiskey experience is all in the wood. So, my part in the industry is supplying casks. Um, I think if you've dialed them before, you might have met me. So I bring in casks from Australia, fortified wine casks, red wine casks, and I bring them across to Scotland for use in the whisky industry. Quite a novel idea. It's only been on the go for about three years now. Not really been done before. So our plan is to kind of get as many casks out of the industry as possible and to give the distilleries and different blenders options and what to finish or mature the whisky in. That's what we do. Well done, well done. And then on the far left here, who have we got? We've got pork chop. What's your speciality, pork chop? Well, tonight my speciality is going to be drinking whiskey or the methods by which we drink whiskey. So I've got several glasses here, which I'll briefly comment on. Well, thank you for that. Now, you probably know Pork Chop for the man that goes and steals all my good and expensive whiskey. <laughs> and uh, you'll see me sending the pictures to Tatty Peel and showing Luke who, what he's drank. But uh, before I jump in, Susan Allen, hello. Uh, enjoy Cumbria, Neil, she says. Uh, Caroline from, hi, from Kinross. Jim Barry's saying, Pork Chop, you big blether. Jamie Thorne from the centre of the universe up there. And then, of course, we've got Gore in there watching over in Sweden. <laughs> And then more from Susan Allen, and I know Brian Johnston can't make it tonight. Um, he's away doing other, or he's maybe having a wee sip. So hopefully we'll get a bit more interaction from you as the night goes on. So, right, Tatty Peel, have you got your bottles in front of you? Aye. Good man, <laughs> aye. See, that's it, well done. Have you got your glasses oh, yeah. with you? Eh? You got your glasses? Or you I've got with the glasses and I've also got my Macar water. Yay! It's nice to see. Well done. It's nice to see Scotty join you. The original wooden top, right enough, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Right. So shall we get started on to the first whiskey there, Tatty Peel? Nice. Right. What is the first one we've got? We've got Tobermory, twelve-year-old here. Um, Neil, you want to say anything about the distillery? Yeah, well, Tobermory is the capital of Fylde Mill, isn't it? It's a very old distillery. It dates back to about 1798 or thereabouts. Uh, and we've tasted uh, a couple of their uh, expressions because they also do Ledeg, 
a Ladeig expression, which is a smoky expression from there. So we've, I think we've had maybe three Ladeigs. I, I, yeah, I vividly remember the, 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 the Ladeig Madeira cask. I remember that. That was absolutely fantastic. It's a 46.3 alcohol by volume, so it's nice average here. And I'm going to pass you over to Scotty now because he's going to have to work for his free drink tonight. I go for it. That's it. Uh, right, Scotty. <laughs> Shall we start with the nose or we'll go for the colour, I think? Or we're going for the legs, thanks. We need to see the legs, the legs, the, the, the sexy, sexy legs. Let's see the legs. Now, has Pork Chop got some whiskey? No. All right, here. Right, wait a minute. We'll stop right, Pork Chop. Right, Mercy, time out, Pork Chop. No, the doctor, doctor says I'm not allowed whiskey. Right, okay then. <laughs> Except for when it's out of my bottle. Here. Correct. Right, I'll pour a wee bit of this in my one and then that way you can. See what I do for my daddy. Right, here we go. Right, let's see what we've been going on for here. Right, Tatty, Tatty Peel. Right, Scotty to Hotty, go for it. Long and slow legs for me, Tatty Peel, am I right? Absolutely, very, very slow. I've made no the slow thing thing of putting my fingerprints on the glass. Oh! So was it thinking <laughs> I do that every week, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, long and slow for me in that one. So, in my head, Already before I even knows it or taste it, I'm thinking about a nice viscous finish on that one. Ooh, big word for my ooh, boy from Perigo. <laughs> high school. Mm -hmm. What high school did Scotty go to? You were never went to those signs and those like that. Aye, uh, Pennycook High. <laughs> I like McMary High. Oh, that's, lo that's lovely. Eh? That's a belt, I like that one. <laughs> the, the, first thing, the first thing that gets me there, Scott, is the orange peel. Not tatty peel. Not tatty no, peel, no. Tatty no. Peel. Well, orange peel. Like that one. Orange citrus zesty, oh, sort of orangey, okay. Seville marmalade. Absolutely yeah. wonderful. That's got a lot behind it. It's not got mm -hmm. any. It's, it's interesting. It's full of character, that. That's a 12 year old, Neil, is it? Yeah. What they yeah, used, yeah. The main uh, expression used to be a 10 year old, and then they switched it to the 12 year old. Uh, and I don't think you get this regular in supermarkets. Not an no. easy find, I've got to say. And that's the Stell that own that one, yeah. isn't it? It's part of the Stell family. Which is a South African company, and I think yeah, Heineken yeah, were trying yeah. to buy them over the other month there. Mm -hmm. Right, Jamie yeah. Proudfoot styled in there. How are we getting on? And I've seen somebody else I needed to say hello to. Right, so, so how are we getting, getting on? Getting a bit of marzipan there, Tatty Peel? Yeah, 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 it's more vanilla and a bit yeah. salted caramel I'm getting there, vanilla. Scotty boy. So I'm thinking uh, bourbon cask majority in this one. Yeah, you can see it in the colour. You maybe yeah, see it yeah, better yeah. in the bottle. Nice and pale, nice and uh, floral as well. Quite a bit of floral, flowery, sort of yeah. bouquet of flowers coming through in it. And I'm guessing non chill filter. Yeah, non chill filter. Go on, Scott. You explain. You explain what that is. So the Americans. This is purely for the American market. Probably about what was it, 20 years, 15 years ago. So when the Americans tend to put a lot of ice in their whiskey and the fatty acids inside the whiskey mm. when it's made clouds up. So it's purely for a visual thing for the Americans. So a chill filter goes through a fine process, maybe more than once. So when they're doing a vatting to get to the bottle, before it gets to the bottle, it will get chill filtered. And that's purely to make it, when you put water and ice in it, it stays nice and clear. Mm. The only reason it doesn't do anything to the characteristics, so I'm told. Some people believe that, some people don't. I don't think it makes much difference, but it's entirely for the American market, for oh, nobody else but yeah. the Americans. And, and a good Ross Eye pupil, Scotty, would use the word, it's purely as for aesthetics. There's a good one. Look at that right. one, Dixon and boy. Is that not what you have before you go for an operation? <laughs> I have it for my breakfast sometimes. <laughs> That's it, and I've got to say, Warner, how we doing? He's dialed in as well. Right, pork chop, what are you thinking of this? Apart from it being good. It smells good. Smells good, right? Yeah. <laughs> right, Very Scotty. Sweet. Right, shall we have a wee sip song? Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Apricot coming through on that one, Neil. Getting the citrus yep. as well. That's yep. a beauty. Mm. It's funny, on, on, the nose, on the nose, Scott, I'm getting vanilla, but yeah. quite toffee rich caramel. On yep. the palate, you know, it's actually quite different. It's, it's actually very nice. Yeah. A lot of spices, a lot of spices. There's cinnamon, yep. getting a lot of cinnamon and cloves coming through there. Uh, okay. Zesty fruits, but, you know, I'm getting lemon, orange on the nose, but yeah. lemon uh, rinds that are zest on the, on the palate. Yeah. Really, really nice. It's Wonderful. actually it's very, fiery. Very complex. I couldn't even work out cask-wise what that is. I think it's more than bourbon. I think there's different casks in that. Um, 
I'm not too sure though, because it's 46.3, mm -hmm. so it's not cast strength. Um, it's good. I, I can't even. I, I think it sometimes this, this is where it tries to confuse us, and you may remember last September when we attempted the world record, uh, Bill Lumsden had mentioned that, uh, and, and Balvenie is a classic of where they do the toast now, so yep. that the exports are learning so much in the wood and they're burning the wood to further extremities, and, and that's really confused us on the colour now, you know, you can't yeah. take that as, as red, so yep. no, I, I think, I'm not sure, because I've only got the wee bottles with us. Uh, it the, keeps the you guessing bottles. though, doesn't it? Sometimes I like to know, because it mm. might make me go down, down a line if I really enjoy something, I need to find another Madeira mm. cask or something like that. But then again, I do like a little surprise, and to me, that's ticking all the boxes for a, I, I've a got, nice yeah. surprise. Yeah, I've got to say, guys, if I've got people that come into the bar and they're first-time whiskey drinkers, this is sometimes a whiskey that I'll let them try, and oh, everybody totally actually agree. seems to seems to enjoy it. If you can, folks, can you like, share, and love us? Please spread the good word, since Tatty Peel's no here. <laughs> Susan <laughs> Allen's liking the spicy vanilla fruits. Who else is a fruitcake yep. out there? That's it. Goran's all excited watching Scottish men on the TV drinking whiskey on a Friday night. What can go wrong, he says. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting a wee bit green apples coming through there. Green apples! <laughs> See, <laughs> Port Jobs <laughs> keep <laughs> green apples on. Uh, I was waiting for that. What about on the... Yeah. Are we it took, it the it took me to my second... Yeah, that, that's, I was just going to say that again. It took me to my second tip to get that. But, you know, I'm, I'm just getting a nice dryness. I think it's got to go back to the, the, the maturation. I could be corrected and hope so, someone may correct me. But just the dryness, the, the, the floral, just tells me it is bourbon matured. Yeah. It, it's uh, but, uh, no, American it be, right. I, I would, I personally, yeah. where would you put what I would put it to the light, delicate, uh, halfway between the centre point and the light. And just down, so that middle middle square there, there. just on that line, the bottom is, line of that middle square, that's roughly where I would stick it. Is that it, it, B2 for your battleship to get sunk? <laughs> some, something about there, the top of that B2, you're yeah, right, right, yeah, spot on. As, as Graham was saying, for, for first time whiskey drinkers, that's probably a good place to start. Mm -hmm. It can, uh, to get introduced to what it's all about in terms of flavour profiles and, and, and mm -hmm. how people enjoy it. It's a nice That's place it. to start. Philip yeah. Thorne's liking it. He says it's well balanced. Yep. It must be sitting in his, uh, his <laughs> tummy. <laughs> you know, I was going to put a bit of uh, water in this one. This is, I'm just getting uh, I've got my here. Mr. Just, Blake right, has been well, a bit busy. Oh, no, it's pork chop. I sacrificed myself. Oh, be right. Michael is, is, Michael is pretty great. I've actually got my bottle of my car water away with me as well. So, good luck. That's because you can't be, you're stuff. too cheap to buy a bottle of water at the supermarket for when you're in your bed. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll give a bit of water to the port, port, port chop. chop. Oh, thank we'll you give much. you that. That's it. That's it. Now, Port Chop was out the other day delivering some of our packages for us. And who did you bump into, Dad? It was oh, Susan Innes's father, I think it was. Uh huh. Um, and he was asking me about a former colleague, a friend of mine. We haven't seen or heard of for about uh, nearly 30 years, so we're a wee bled on the doorstep. Oh, so um, it was lovely to see him, and uh, hopefully Susan and Martin are, are online somewhere tonight. I've not seen them dialing in yet, they've probably had too much gin and tonic and, <laughs> and whiskey. Eh? Right, so let's move along then, boys, what are we at now? So I'll just I'll put a couple of drops yep. of water in that one. Taking a little bit of the heat off it, because it's 46.3, I'm not getting too much of a change. But I do prefer without water for that one on this, mm -hmm. I think. I think it's going to be taking a bit too much off it in terms of... I, I, I think it exacerbates the spices a bit, Scott. Mm -hmm. I, I think the cinnamon, the cloves come in a lot stronger. You lose the zest in this and the fruitiness of it with the yeah. water. Um, I, I didn't get much nose on it with, yeah. with water. It, the nose disappoints, but it, it, it's quite spicy and, and sort of vanilla. Yep. dry vanilla spices and you lose all the fruit just with that touch of water yep. which for me is not a bad thing because i'm not a lover of the citrus fruit and the, yeah. the, the, the dryness of that as well so yeah i think it's quite nice it's got yeah. a lovely long drawn out flavor and i'm getting yep, the side of my mouth and that one's still going absolutely so it's, it's given a lot on a lot of legs on that one i've got to see hey, steve mckenzie's dialed in just good to see him remember the last time we seen him tatty po was on monday night wasn't it 
Uh, but no, I leave him in the gutter on the streets of Pitlochry on Monday night. He's <laughs> talking about Pitlochry. Maybe it was Brenda. Yeah, it was, was... were chasing him. Yes. <laughs> Jamie Thorne saying it's a bit spicy for me, a lot better with a drop of water. There we go. I, I like the spices, Jamie, because yeah. I, I think the water brings the spices out in it, and I quite like that. You know, mm. I like the, the, the dried fruit Christmas cake sort of thing. Yep. Uh, so, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's, it, for me, it gets a seal of approval. Definitely. Arr, 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 what about pork chop? Arr, arr. Do you oh. like it? No. No. I'm on the wall here, I, I'm sitting on the wall, and as a former colleague used to say at meetings when asked for his opinion, he would say, I'd like to associate myself with the previous speaker's comments. Ah. 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 ah, well anyway, we'll give it a seal of approval. Yeah. Arr, 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 arr. We like that one, we like yeah, that one. well done there guys, that was good. Now Tati Peel, where does the name Tobamori come from? I have no idea. Well, if I remember correctly, <laughs> The name but Tobermory is delivered from a Gael from the Gaelic Tobar and it's Mohori <laughs> and, <laughs> and it means and it means Mary's well. <laughs> That's well, if my memory says well, well right. pronounced that was just a great bit of memory there. That's right at the back. So it was a good tasty one. Remember, this is near a supermarket one, folks, but uh, it's certainly. I'll just correct one. you on that as well. It's garlic, not Gaelic. Gaelic is the French, Mr. Blakey, but however. Well, I'll do the order as Patty Neal. That will get Jean Luc in to keep you right, so that's, uh, that's good. Yeah, that's right. That you Paul Jean Luc's convinced you're the Gaelic side of it. Mais, mais, oui. <laughs> Werner's liking that, he's clapping his hands. And uh, looking very professional, gentlemen. That's Norman dialing in there. Nice to see you, bud, as well. Right, on to number two. Just for you. And thanking you. Now, I know Neil's going to like this one because I'm seeing all the also yep. Sherry sitting behind that. So a nice yeah, Glenn Fiddick, 18 year old, small batch. And so I think. This will be an absolute belter as well, but looks can be deceiving, mm -hmm. and it's all in your head sometimes until we nose and taste it. They so seemingly marry it with no more than 150 casks for that batch. That's, that's good. Well, that's mm. to me, if you're doing that with 150 casks, couldn't even tell you how many bottles that yep. is. It's not too many in the grand scheme of things for Glenfiddich in particular, yep. but it makes it that little bit unique and a little bit special. Take one or two different ones away from that, because uh, Brian Kins went up there, and you've got a different whiskey altogether. So it's nice having that something, that small batch release to me. I, I like that because mm -hmm. it's something different. Yep, yep. All right, here we go. What right. we looking for? Tatty Peel's favourite bit. He likes this bit, doesn't he? Right, uh, here, where's your glass? Oh, what right. glass? Port Chop's going to use a different tumbler here. He's brought all these glasses from the attic. He's had them since 1920. Yeah, well, these, these legs are actually slower uh -huh. than the Tober Mori. You know, when I rolled it in my glass, it was like almost like the Z of Zorro coming <laughs> through there. And, and they're just starting to move now, really, really nice, thick, yeah. slow, deliberate legs. And you're right, Scotty, I love the Oloroso casks. I think it gives a, a, a wonderful richness to the biscuit. Mm, so I yeah, really yeah. am looking forward to this one. I think I think Australian a pair of casks are better, Neil, but I'm biased. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Oh, I thought we'd cut out there. That's it. Z for Zorro. That's the first that's one. A good Between your your chocolate bar from Jamaica. And oh, your that's woman, my favourite. The your, Jamaica your biscuit bar. Your funny green apple, <laughs> uh, green banana skins. Oh, oh, that's green it. apples. <laughs> now now oh. you see that. It's certainly yeah. on the nose, and there is green apples on that. Absolutely, green apples. Apples. I put my wrong top on the day. Pork chop. Pork chop's got one. There he is. That's it. Pork chop's flying the flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, That's lovely. Yeah. For me, I, lo lovely. I, I get pears coming from it. Nice yeah. Oxford fruit pears. Mm -hmm. I'm getting honey through. from that one, Neil. Just nice and sweet. Typical sherry cask kind of yeah. maturation and finish. Yeah. Toffee. Fruit. Honey, yeah. Caramel. Toffee apples. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's everybody saying? Oh, Susan Innes is late. She said, sorry, I ran out of two bottles of gin. I had to go and buy another one tonight. So <laughs> that's uh, here. We've got pork chop on. You missed pork chop talking about your dad there. Susan Allen's going on about the chocolate fruit. I'll have knee legs left after a few of these. Well, fruity and smacking finish. That's Warner saying that. That's it. Oh. Yeah, a lot of dried fruit, dates, raisins, currants. Mm -hmm. 
Christmas cake. I just yeah, said yeah. that after the Dover Mori. It's one of my favourite. And, and Oloroso actually gives you that sort of it lovely, does. spicy, gingery, mm-hmm. dried fruit aromas and, and palate. It's just the, the palate's great. There's so much going on in the palate yeah. of this. I know it's an 18 year old. I, I think it's super, absolutely yeah, super, yeah, super good. Like, it's got you, you, know, you know me better than you think. Uh, he's sitting in front of the winter fire with a nice 18 year old keeping you warm. Yeah, but I, oh. again, I'm getting, I'm getting my, my other favourite coming through in it, Graham, is the salted caramel. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah. Do you know what the really first thing got me, Neil, is the mouthfeel on that one. The minute you take your first, the mouthfeel is fantastic. Nice and viscous and syrupy and thick. Mm. Coats your mouth and it just lets that flavour linger as well. I let it linger. Again, Dufftown, is, uh, Dufftown uh, Glen Fiddick, as, as you know, is a, a space aid in Dufftown mm-hmm. under William Grant. And I always use that as, as a great one. And why we, you stick with the flavour map as opposed to the regions. Because I use Balvenie and Glen Fiddick as an example. They're, they're next door to each other, as mm-hmm. you know, Scott. Yeah. Uh, owned by William Grant and Son, and they use the same water, the same everything's the same, uh, right through except for the maturation. But they're matured basically about 100 yards, 200 yards apart mm-hmm. from each other. Yeah. And the, the, the whiskey, yeah. they're, they're like night and day, night and day in whiskies. Um, because Glen Finnick always have this, even the 12 year old and most of the, 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 the pretty old whiskies have that lovely, spicy, peppery, where Balvenie is very smooth, yeah. caramel, toffee, syrupy, honey. You know, and you you, you you would never see Glen Fiddick really as a space side compared to Balvenie. Oh, it's, but it's one of those it's, things. It's wonderful. Yeah. Lovely. It's, Love it. It's great. It's, it's got to be the, for, for me, having obviously the two distilleries so close together, yeah, they use the same water, but a lot of it, as you know, it's like still design. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Your Lenham, how it's, what yeah. angle it is, and there's so many different complex processes behind what they do just to get that different character. And you're right, Balvenie, Glen Fiddick, completely different characters. You know they're space siders, mm-hmm. but completely different character. It could be anything, there's a million combinations that could be different, and that's the most amazing thing about whiskey and the way it's created. Right next to each other, completely different profiles, and it's fantastic. It really is. That's it. Absolutely. I well like done. that one. Yeah. Right. So where are we going to be up with this? We, let's get the, the, the taste in. How's pork chop like in that one? I'll associate myself with the previous speakers. comments. comments All right, yes, okay, pork chops liking that. Right, where are we going? So it's, it's definitely, I would say, in the middle. Maybe a little bit higher than the middle. It's rich. So I would it's say, the tatty peel side, side, rich. Um, I'm going about here. What about you, tatty peel? I would say right in the halfway line there, Scott. So no nine right miles away. Oh, and just what? in the first, the first box on the halfway line towards the tatty peel side. There's no smoke. It, it's certainly not uh, delicate in any way. Yeah. It's just that, mm-hmm. that other or so. Just maybe a third of the way along. Yeah. Um, it, 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 it's marvellous. And I don't know if anyone noticed it. I was, I've stuck my water in already. Yeah. And you can see that so oils just open up and let's separate. Let's see if I can get that zoomed in here, Tebow, and see if you can zoom in. Can you zoom on in this? Let me have a look here. Oh, I'll touch your water in your Can you see chop? that or which one? I thought I had water in me. No, that's the other one. Oh. 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 Right, let me see if I can get and do this for you guys. Just so everybody... Stop the clock! Stop the clock! Right, here we go. Right, let's keep see if we can piece, get keep this. Keep your Oh, you can see it. You see that there? Yeah. Yeah, Justin, no more. Thank you. You're welcome. Gives it a nice little sheen on that one. It's cracking. <laughs> did you get water in it, Da? Yes, I did. Thank you. It's been looked at. Right, right, again, with, with a couple of drops of water, I mean, mm-hmm. just softens that absolutely perfectly. Yeah, you're just apples. It's like red apples now. It's just sweetened yeah. it quite yeah. a bit. Opens out a little bit, doesn't it? Honey. David got a bottle of this for his 50th birthday and he's now on his second bottle. Was that 20 years ago? (laughs) Aye, aye. You're still getting it. It gentles. It's interesting because the the, the Tobermory opened the spices for me. Mm-hmm. But this is closed the spices and made them a bit more subtle, which is quite interesting. And it's a bit softer in the spices. A bit ginger coming through. Ginger Ninja. Yeah. I think, Neil, as well, with it being 40% ABV, they've also put a bit of thought in it to being like something you'll drink 
um, that you might not need water from that one because obviously mm. the lower alcohol content on the whiskey. So before it's actually bottled, they'll put that dilution rate through it to get volume out of it as well. Imagine being only 150 casks. But no, that's, yeah. that's a cracker in terms of sherry casks as well. And you'll be right yeah. up your street for that one. Yeah, yeah. I, I think the, the water actually complements it brilliantly, Scott. Yeah. You, you know my feelings on water. I mean, you've got to have a bit of water in every whiskey. You do. You do. Because it opens the flavours. And I just think this, even at 40%, I think this is stunning, absolutely mm -hmm. stunning with water. And it's, for me, one of the best Glenfiddich ex expressions I think I've had for a long, long time, if yeah. not uh, ever. It, it just Dorkel. opens the, the, the apples, goes from the green apples green to the... Green apples! To the red apples. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's almost like a, a, a nice gala apple now, nice and mm. sweet, rich, smooth. Um, the spices are, are more subtle and gentle. I, I think that is a fantastic, yep. absolutely and it lasts, fantastic. And it lasts, it lasts as well. Mm -hmm. It's like having a boiled sweetie in your mouth. It just keeps on giving. Mm, a yeah. boiled sweetie keeps on giving. John Duckett, that's a touch of class. He says, wasn't expecting that to have the depth. So very, uh, very yeah. tasty. I was looking up and there was actually a few folk. Have we done the Glen for that 15 year old TP? I think we have, yeah. I think we have. Because that'd be interesting yeah. to compare them both mm -hmm. together side by side. Um, yeah, that's certainly yeah. a, and, they, and they've, I think they've just rebranded the Glenfiddich stuff as well, so it's a bit more modern, not that long ago. I, so. I've, I've just had a thought when I said it's probably the best one, I, I, it's not actually. And remember the XP range the expressions I had? Yes, yeah. The, they had the IPA and they had another one, I can't remember what it the was. Grand the, the Grand Crew. The Grand Crew, the IPA, the Double X, the Winter Storm. Mm, yeah. I can't remember what one it was, but one of them was, was excellent as well. So, yeah, but Aye. that certainly gets the seal of approval. I, I think that is a yeah. real... Arr, 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 port chop. Arr, 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 arr. <laughs> well done, <laughs> port <laughs> chop. That's it. Neil, he, he's actually done it before we've ever done it on the show. I don't know if we'll see it, but that's the fair that comes along. First time straight in there with the seal of approval. Aye, we I'm should like, be ashamed, Neil. We Daddy should be ashamed. Peel, Daddy Peel's scared of the, the seal of approval. <laughs> the rest of his hair will fall out. He'll be really like Kojak <laughs> after that. That's it. So that was a tasty one. Well done, well done. Remember, folks, if you can like, love us, and share us as well, please spread the good word so we can get a few more people dialing in. I know a lot of people get put off the dinner when uh, Tatty peels on, uh, but we can cut him out. He's a phone. nasty man, isn't He's he? He's a, nasty, a nasty, man. Man. nasty man. Right, so what are we now on to? We're on to a uh, Lefroy. Or are we on the useless fact of the day, oh, Tatty Peel? Oh, sorry, I missed that bit. What's your useless fact of the day? Right, Scott's, Scott's going to do the useless fact of the day, no me. That's it. What did we learn on Monday? Was there anything we learned on Monday that was a uh, useless uh, fact? I got, I got too engrossed in that 40-year-old... Uh, Jewers and it, I forgot. <laughs> that was it. We were uh, we were at the the Jewers Distillery on Mon on Monday there, and when we were in the final room where they were showing us the sort of the difference of the colours over the whisk bottles of whiskies over the years, and I think it was the same room they filled the casks in. It was also the same room as where the excise men's yeah. room, and I've been in there loads of time, and I had the scales, and the the, the rep was it Ross? It was Ross, wasn't it? That was was. Gary. Gary, Gary, Gary Ross, that was his name. And he says, I'm going to take these for a wee dram. And we looked at him, where, where's he off to? And he went right down to the end of this room and he pulled over in this big red door. And it was like, oh, ho, oh, oh, now we're in the zone. <laughs> and uh, you should have seen some of the stuff we're being offered. So it was very yeah. good, very tasty. Did you get all excited, yeah. Neil? Aye. We've been, I, I, well, I think that's it, it, the, the useless fact that the Aberfeld, they have a secret bar. Correct, <laughs> Amundo. <laughs> That's with it. some amazing stuff in it. I, I, I love, because remember I had the real, the, it was the, sherry, just yep. pure sherry material, uh, Scott, and it was one Ooh, of, uh, that'll be a 650 bottles, I think it was, um, mm. 2010, 29 it was bottled, and it was black, black as oh. anything, it, always the colour of these shirts, and it was sweet, amazing, you could actually chew it, you know, you almost got that, yep. sort of, it's like having a caramel in your mouth, I loved it. So I've got, I got the bottle left beside me for a wee extra cheeky. So as he, and I didn't car. get to have a wee sip of it. But what was the other one the chap had let us to try? There was another, when we were in the sampling room, there was a cask that we all got to have a wee sip out of. But behind it, there was a cask that people could buy a bottle for two and a half yeah. thousand pound. And when we were in the sample room, we all got a wee nip of that. So anyway, that's enough Lovely. to get you all excited. But anyway, no. woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Jamie thought that woof was... Stew pot, that's it. That was a roof stew pot. 
Jamie was all impressed with you up there very in Penicook. Thank you, Jamie. Uh, <laughs> that's it. And just finishing, uh, makes it very smooth and easy drinking on the palate with a wee bit of water. That's what mm -hmm. Werner says about the last one. Right, come on then, Scotty to Hot Eight. Let's keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. So we're now on to the Freud. And I'm guessing they'll like this one as well because it's another sherry oak finish. So a 10 year old. Mm -hmm. um, whether or not it's the Lafroy 10 year old that the usual combination for the, the vatan is with an extra couple of sherry casts thrown in, I'm not too sure. Um, but obviously, being an Isle of Whiskey, it's going to be heavily peated, I'd imagine. Mm. Uh, and being a sherry oak, it's going to have lots of fruit in there as well. So I'm excited by this one. It's I've never had it. It's not long out in the market either. No, this is it uh, sounds good. Yeah. So obviously the first thing we'll talk about is colour. Mm. Um, nice, but I, I don't think that's natural myself. I think that's got a little bit of fake tan in there, I'd imagine. What do you think, Neil? Well, I'm sure Lafroy claim everything's natural colour. Mm -hmm. um, you, you, you would assume it's maybe oh. it's a 10-year-old five, six years in the, because it's Oloroso Sherry as well, I'm sure yeah. Lafroy yeah. News is I think is it's got. 12 months in the Oloroso Sherry to finish it yeah, off. to finish it off, so nine no. years, nine years Well, if it is 12 months in Oloroso, that colour, it's a uh, fake time for sure. Yeah. I it's thought it would be a few years yeah. in it, just the, yeah. get the I mean, three years in the, the, the American uh, oak yeah. and, and let it mature slowly in the European oak. And um, I think the colouring is probably another thing for kind of foreign markets in terms of, to me, you don't have to have colour on something for it to taste nice. We've mm -hmm. all tasted stuff that's... We'll do a little comparison with the Tobamori, which is a cracker. Yeah. If you look at the difference on that one, that one's two years older, but it probably just been in bourbon cast. Does an Oloroso Sherry cast do that much difference after 12 months? Oh, I'm not too sure. Mm -hmm. But... No, not in 12 months, Scott. No, I, yeah, I agree. No. 12 years and a bit, maybe. Yeah. Um, but it takes a bit of effort, but it's everyone's preference. And look at the colour. That's Dare dialed in from Philadelphia. Hello, Crazy Dare. How are you getting on? Where are we with the legs? Nice and viscous and mm. slow as well. Yeah, all, all three have been very slow. Bit, they're the quickest legs. They, 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 they drop very quickly, so there, there's a, an element of sort of oh, light, cool. delicate in it there. Yeah. But with the, mm -hmm. the, the, the peak. Smells amazing, oh. that, eh? What's the, the else the the I, I remember we done some months ago, Graham, the Lafroy triple cask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cast. And it was, I, I remember the pencil shavings of that. It was a really because I'm not a Lafroy fan. Mm -hmm. um, I had a quick nose out there. It's very similar to the the, the triple cask. Um, a, a, a wee bit citrus, which is unusual for a uh, Oloroso, which maybe. It, yep. it could be the 12 months in the fake tan, as you say, Scott, because yep. normally the longer in that Oloroso, that, that citrus would disappear. But I'm getting a lot of dark chocolate, coffee, honey, spicy honey. Uh, 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 uh. This won a gold award at the 2021 uh, International yeah. Wine and Spirits Awards for a 10 year old. The, the, mm -hmm. the, nose, is, the nose is wonderful, you know, it's, it's not heavily peated, there's just a, a nice sort of tobacco leaf, sort of yeah. a Havana cigar, rolled in Cynthia's size. A thighs a PCM Cynthia's size. Who's that? <laughs> Cynthia's thighs. Oh, right, right. <laughs> Smoky medicinal, Jamie. Yep. Smells ace. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's lovely Havana tobacco cigar. Yeah. Just really, really lo lovely, lovely. Yeah. That's, that's, that. the, that's the best, best nose tonight, actually. Wow, poor chop, you'll know like that, will you? It's not as uh, heavy as the previous Lafroix. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's lightly peated, that one. Thanks, quite surprised at that. Pleasant, yeah. What uh, glasses have you been drinking out of? Well, I was just going to tell you that I've, I've been watching this programme for weeks and months, probably. Years? Years, and no doubt. And you're using these Glencairn glasses, which were, uh, after all the research, were designed and produced in mm -hmm. 2001. And eventually won the Queen's Award for Industry in 2006. Mm -hmm. However, you know, it's a nice glass, it's a steady glass, and it does the business. It yep. lets us see what's what here. Yeah. And on the opposite Hold up, side, of it, we've, got this, we've got a wobbly glass Hold from the wobbly one up. Just so folk can this see is it. A wobbly glass. This is for the ship, for being yeah. on the ship when it wobbles side to side. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, or after I'd you've had too many whiskey. Yeah. I'd be afraid to put it down. Yeah. But, but I'm old school, you see, and I've got my favourite glasses at night. and Oh, a couple here with me. This is a, 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 a pistol uh, 
one of their goblets. And I've got another one, which is the works. It's a knurled thistle goblet, and it does the business. And when you, whisk, when you get your whiskey, it comes in measures. You've got a 25, you've got a quarter, you've got a 50, and then you can have a home measure. A full measure. You can have a gel, which is 100. <laughs> Uh, whatever they are, but, but I, prefer, <laughs> I prefer a copious draught, um, which kind of fills the glass a bit better. And if you're not prepared to cope with that, then you can have a basin. Oh, and, uh, I've got a crate here, which originally was used for in, in some countries for taking blood, but uh, we've used them for drinking. And so, Walter Scott actually had a number of silver crates that he, he dished out to visitors and friends and had drinkies with. Uh, it's also known as a loving cup as well because you can hold both handles. This, I talk about loving cups, this one was given to Mr. Blakey by, uh, I don't know if he's on there tonight, Mr. Briggs in America. All oh, right, uh, Dr. Briggs. And, that and, a, and similarly, just a quickie I spotted her on there was uh, Lucille Bishop. And this will embarrass Graham, but Lucille was Graham's babysitter years oh, ago. Yes, <laughs> so, yes. So there you are. So this is it. If I'm drinking <coughs> and I have a reasonable glass of whiskey, it's in there, and I know I've got a whiskey because it's usually filled up to about here, two fingers. You know? <laughs> oh my goodness me. And, uh, Who's a whiskey? Wee, a wee touch of, no, Graham's whiskey, I buy mine. I'm <laughs> on. Unlike Neil Forbes. Ah, uh, <laughs> Bill. Anyway, that's my comments on glasses. You know, now you know what I'm drinking when you're. The, we are a, we we're working a wee, a wee snifter. But there, uh, are. there we go, Dad. Thank you for that. Everybody give him a big round of applause. Yay! The world famous pork chop. Right. Thanks for that. What's everybody saying? Susan Allen, spiced tobacco burning embers. Yep. Werner saying smoky peaty bourbon, a wee bit of water and the flavour and the smells all roll on it nice and smooth as well. Phil's liking that, Jamie's liking that, but uh, right, let's carry on anyway. Well, can I disassociate on? myself with the previous speaker's comments? Aye, <laughs> aye. So we're all no, I'm, I'm getting a lot of chocolate, I'm getting a lot of dark chocolate bone vol in that um, honey, I, 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 no it's really, really nice. Yeah, no, you're it's, Jamaican. Uh, Everybody's clapping for you, Dad. That's it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> right, what we, how are we getting on anyway with this yeah. tasting? Well, I've got a bit of water in mine, in mine now, and I think that is fantastic. That little bit of water, to me, compared to three tonight, has done that Lefroy absolute wonders. Mm -hmm. It was nice before. I'm not a massive fan of Lefroy like Neil as well, but with that bit of water, it's opened up a lot more. I'm getting a lot more kind of... Um, more fruit Christmas cake, which yeah. obviously the sherry cask influence coming through in it, a lot smoother. Um, something that I would probably sit and drink all night long, which is something that really is. That's um, that's a good one. A bit mm -hmm. of water, and that's a belter. It's an absolute belter. I like that put, one. You put water in your sport job. I don't know if I forgot to put the water in yours. There you go. That's it. Water's free. It's happy hour. I, I think the, the, the water actually again opens the spices. Yep. Uh, it gives quite a lot of just flavours, the spices, the ginger, um, the, the, the chocolate just really, really opens up to it. Bourneville chocolate just sticks out like a sore thumb with this for me. I, I, I love it as well, Scott. I, I'm no, I, I, don't, I don't think I could drink it all night because I'm, I'm, I'm not a peat fan, I'm a fan, yeah. as you know. I'm not but a do you know what I think, Neil, in terms of PPM and that one, that's for a Lafroy, that's quite low, isn't it? There's mm. no much in that at all. I, I would say you're probably, yeah, on the nose, you can hardly get it. You just yeah. get a wee bit of the, the, mm -hmm. the bad way. But on the palate, without water, eh, I would probably say about 20, 25 or something, yeah. like that, no much more. Lightly um, peaty. Yep. Yeah. That's it. But Where it, are we going to pop really nice. this? Right, Tatty Peel, what battleship are you going to sink now? Uh, I'm going to go for E. Aye. And up, up over the halfway line. Just on that, that line there, about there, yeah, yeah. That yeah. one there? No, 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 you're too, too flat. <laughs> Just at the first, so it would be about E, E whatever it is, six, five. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One second. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there. No, it's that pimp. Yeah. What about you, yeah. Scotty? It makes it rich. The other also sherry it makes it lovely rich, lovely Does. smooth. Um, and it, it, it's, it's a lovely expression as well, I must confess. Yeah. Yeah. No, when I, you I put it, Scotty to hottie, I'm, I'm there. I'm, yeah, but maybe I'm not thinking it's a bit more richer than, um, than Tati Peel. I'm probably going, no, that's not. 
I would agree with you. Maybe one bit down, just because it's a flag and in my head, it should be up here. Yeah. But to me, it's down there. <laughs> there we go. Well done, right? So let's start to round it up. See who likes one, two, three. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. That's right. a tough one tonight. That's a, yeah, I'm yeah. struggling. That's really, it. I'm Let's see who everybody's saying just now before we ask. Uh, Susan's 231, and then David's 231 as well. Philip Thorne's 321. Jamie's uh, Proudfoot's 231. Jamie Thorne is 321. Susan Innes, 132. Porkchop, what was your favourite? 213. 2, 1, and then 3. Where? What was your favourite? I'm 321. Which is three, two, one. Right, Tatty Peel. Two, three, one. So you like that one, that one, and then that one. There you go. And what about yours? That's a good question. I certainly think this was up there. It's just I'm not all a freak person. So mm -hmm. maybe, it's mm. maybe it's a bit like that, oh. just to go against Tatty Peel. <laughs> 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 uh, that's it, that's it. If you agreed, it would be boring. Werner's 213, that's what he's all about as well. Uh, and Phillips, they were all winners in their own rights. I agree. That's it. We need to give it the seal of approval. Right, Port Jop. Ar, 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 ar. There you go, Neil. Where's that appeals? We'll, we'll, well, I was going to say. But you're miles away, you can do it as long right, as you want now. Oh, that's it, he's giving it the, the thumbs up. Well, that's great. That's super duper. Just a couple of wee bits to just find ourselves off, folks. Remember, if you're coming to London, make sure you've got your tickets booked. We, me, Tatty Peel and myself need to get the, the hotel sorted. Train tickets are booked for the folks that have given us the heads up in advance. Have and hope. Yep. Well, good. Hopefully on the 27th, a few more of you can come into the audience and meet our pals coming up from Newcastle and they'll bring us up a stoty. Is it a stoty, Tatty Peel? It's a stoty. A stoty. A that's it. That's it. A, a stoty. Fried, fried eggs and bacon. Why, why, man, and a canny bag of chuda. Better watch <laughs> Alan, I'll be getting all jealous and that. And then, <laughs> just out of curiosity tonight, guys, your whiskies that we uh, shipped out to were just about £200 in total for these three bottles. So you can't ask that better yeah. for a good deal, you know, trying all these different wee bits and bobs. And then, of course, we've got to thank Tatty Peel for dialing in all the way down there and uh, south of the border. So that's it, and of course, uh, thank you to T-Boney. Tatty Peel, is there anything else that we need to shout and say? No, I just think uh, the, the Pisky show, we've got to get the hotel sorted out. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to make the Friday now. Oh, I don't know yet. I've got a, an inquiry for a three-day tour finishing at five o'clock on the Saturday the second. So I might have to fly down late that night myself, oh. but uh, I'll catch up with you for a dram or 12 before that's midnight. It. <laughs> well, just uh, whilst I've got them here, we've remembered this for once, sorry to finish up. Uh, this is our whiskies for uh, for next one. We've got the Fetter Cairn face. Can you see that there, Tony? Now, you can't actually uh, get this whiskey anymore. It's discontinued, so it's been specially coming together for use. Then we've got the Glen Scotia Victorian. Um, cast strength, have a wee shift there. Can you zoom in on that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Right, that's it. Okay, he's. I know I need to zoom it in for uh, Martin Innes because he'll not see it. Oh no, <laughs> that's maybe no going on. Right, and then finally, we've got this absolute belter, Anok 24, mm. uh, which is an absolute stonker. Can you get them in there? Uh, there he is, he's trying to give Tony his juice. I'm all confused. You should see Aye, everything that we've seen hard. on the screen. We've got text messages, we've got Tatty Peel, we've got Ice, we've got everybody. Aye. That's it. No, it's oh. not working. Well, wait, so here, I can put them here and then we'll get out of here and then we'll let you all get going. So this is the stuff that we've got tied up for you. That makes sense. Some really tasty stuff and uh, that's what we've got. So get your orders in now, please, if you can, so it helps us get them dispersed to you as quick as we can so you can all enjoy us on the night. So that's it, guys. Thanks very much for your time. Poor chops, Scotty Tohotty, Tatty Peel and everybody else all dialed in and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you the 27th and we'll have our pals from down south joining us and what we're we going to say slide slide